Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're in part two of a series, and the second part of this series is how do we put the hardware on this belt buckle? Now, just as a recap, this is a, a belt buckle material that's a stainless steel, 304, 304L, works fine, and we're using a filler material, 308L, and at one point, we're going to either shoot a clear coat on here or we're going to polish it. But before we do that, I gotta put the hardware on. So uh, I've got, this is off the shelf, stainless steel TIG filler material. And it's, uh, it's about 532 in diameter. So as you can see, the, the belt buckle, is, it's almost done. I'm gonna make the hardware and weld it on. So here's what I have to take a look at. Turn this, turn this belt buckle over and I need to make a mark exactly where I'm going to weld this hardware. So if I took a, a scale, find the center line. It's a two inch wide belt buckle. So I'm gonna put a dot there. Now that dot is where I'm gonna put a little, a little hook and I've still gotta build the hook. So. All I'm going to do is I'm going to look over here about a half an inch, maybe not even quite a half an inch, maybe three eighths, and I'm going to make a mark. And I'm going to use my grinder and cut that off, and I'm going to make that weld to that. And so I'm going to take the other portion of this, and I'm going to leave everything long for the moment, but I'm going to make a mark the width, the width of this buckle. And I'm, I'm gonna have to trim it at some point, but I, I've gotta bend this. So that's the next feature on here is how do I cut and bend all this? So that's what's gonna happen next. Let me get my safety gear on and I'll cut it right here on the spot. Okay, well, before I turn this on, you can hear that it's gonna be a little bit of noise. The reason I'm using the Dremel with a cutting wheel on, it's got a little slitting wheel on it, is because I want this to be a square cut. When I get ready to, to put this in place and weld it, I want it to fit well. Otherwise, I just take the wire cutter and snip it. Well, when you do that, it kind of pinches it off and it's kind of hard to hold and, and weld. So uh, here's my first cut. So a little bit warm, but you can see the cut's pretty square. And I'll, I'll deburr that a little bit with a file. Okay, so it's cooled off. Okay, now I've made, I've made a couple of marks. Those are my marks for the width of the belt buckle. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take a hammer. I'm just gonna take my rubber mallet, actually. And if you'll notice, there's the mark, that's where the radius should start. I'm just gonna bend it around the corner. Okay, now, I'm just about to a 90. Okay, so it's a nice, gentle turn to it. I don't need a square, uh, absolutely square, so there's no rough edges here. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna do this again, only this time. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the vise. I've got my second line lined up. And you know what, if you screw this up, you can do it over and over and over again. But uh, the thing is, you can manipulate this thing around and get just about any dimensions you want. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pound this over. Now, you can use a regular hammer, a ball peen hammer, anything you want. The reason I'm using a rubber hammer is I just don't want to make any scratches on here because I'm going to be polishing it anyway. So uh, anyway, take, take a look at this and you can, again, you can straighten this up any way that you want. Again, it's welding rod, so not a problem. One of the things to look for, and I'm going to do this over here because I may make some adjustments is I made it just a little bit 
too wide. So I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to abort this portion of it and rebend. What I want is I want to make sure that the the hardware is concealed behind the buckle. So let's do it all over again. So you can see that is where I want the radius to be. Okay, so that's that's just about perfect. Uh, it'll, it'll disguise itself. Now I'm actually going to trim this, and I need the square edges, so I'm going to trim it the same way I did the the, uh, the little hasp portion, and then I'm going to weld it. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm going to make a mark. If you'll notice this thing is probably about a half inch. I'm going to make a mark where I'm going to weld it. So I'm going to measure about a half an inch. And that's where I'm going to put it in place and weld it. I'm going to weld it 360 degrees. Okay, so now that this is cooled off, you can see this is, this is where I'm going to put it in place. And I'm going to tack it, then I'm going to weld it, and then I'm going to bend this piece backwards a little bit, just to about the thickness of your belt. So let me do that right now. I'm also going to put this in place. I want to put it right up here, tack it, weld it all the way around, and then uh, I'll show you a little trick so you don't have a sharp edge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the, the edge of that with my TIG torch, melt it down, it'll create a nice little spherical ball. Okay, I've got the first, uh, I got the hook welded in place, but if you notice it's straight up and down. Now is the time to go ahead and burn this down. It'll create a nice little ball or a sphere so there's no sharp edges. So add no filler to it, just watch it burn down. And in a little bit, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put a little radius, I'll, I'll tap it so it's not sticking straight up and down. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish these welds. I'm going to do 360 degrees, so you just got to weld a little bit, let it cool off, uh, reposition yourself. And it takes a little while, but uh, just use real low amps on it. Hey guys, this episode of TIG Time is brought to you by Napotnik Welling Supplies. I happen to be in the showroom here and it is filled with equipment and all types of supplies. Now they also have a demonstration room here where you can take anything in the showroom before you buy it, go in and practice and see if you like it in the demonstration room. If you can't make it to the showroom, go ahead and, uh, and click on this link so you can shop online. Now let's get back to welding.
Okay, the welding portion of this is done. And, and just to reiterate, I'm using a 1 16th diameter tungsten, uh, straight argon gas. You know, when you get to this, this hardware portion, you're only using about 30 or 40 amps. But when I put the hardware on, it's, it's not in the perfect position because we want, we want this, uh, this little hook to have a little bend to it. So um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to tap it here. You notice that it doesn't take much and the angle is starting to change. Now the rest of this, I need to have this portion of it bend ever so slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the vise and bend it back just a little bit. Okay, now you can, you can do this yourself and adjust it according to the uh, thickness of the belt that you end up getting. So you can see I've got it at a 45. I'm going to take a look at a belt, and, and uh, if I need to, I'll tap it down a little bit further. So uh, let me see if I can find a belt and uh, match this up. Okay, there's, there's two different ways you can finish this belt buckle off. We're, we're finished with the welding portion of it. And uh, one way is to just go ahead and leave it in the as-welded condition. Uh, it's got kind of a different rustic look to it, and the colors are all over the place. Now, the only thing I'd recommend is that you go ahead and put a clear coat, just spray a clear coat, very inexpensive to do. Or the other way of, uh, of dealing with it is this one that's been polished, and it's got a background that still shows the colors. But uh, we took this over to the wheel, and we went ahead and did a rough polish and a fine polish on it. And so it gives it a little different depth and a little bit of a chrome look to it. So uh, whichever one you like, uh, that's fine with us. That's your choice. Anyway, thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.